was tired or we was gonna feel, we came to tell God thank you. And say, oh, and the Lord. So I just say, bless the Lord at all times. See, I don't know what y'all come to do, but I came to tell God thank you. Amen. I don't know what you're talking about, but I come to tell God thank you. It's truly an honor and it's a pleasure to be here this morning. I'm not gonna be here long as I was talking with Pastor this week, and that's when I found out about the about the communal service, so things fell in line with the word new. That's my topic. So I just say, Lord, I thank you. I'm going to pray first because I didn't have time to come up here and pray because I was, you know. But dear Father God, I just want to say thank you, Lord God. The Lord God, I'm asking you, God, to please, God, search our hearts. God, if there's anything in our hearts that's not like you, Father God, I want you to remove it in Jesus' name, Father God. Oh God, I'm asking you, God, to hide Lord God, you hide Michelle behind the cross, God, so they will only see you, God, and they will only hear you, Father God. Oh, Father God, I'm asking you, God, to allow us not to stand back in judgment, but God, you use me for your glory, Father God. Oh, God, you bless this household, God. Oh, God, you bless every household that's, a, that's even attached to this household, Father God. Oh, God, you bless the generations to come, Father God. Oh, Father God, I thank you, God, for the increase, God. Oh, God, I hear increase in the air, God. Oh, God, I feel increase because God, you are a God of increase, Father God. So, God, we say thank you, God. Oh, God, we need more of you, God, and one of us, God. Oh, God, we want more of you, so God, I just say thank you, God. Oh, God, we bless your name in Jesus' name. I do pray. Amen. 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 I just want to say, God, I thank you first and foremost. I thank God who's the head of my life first and foremost. I thank God for Pastor and the respect of her husband and his actions. We honor him, so I just say thank you, God. I thank you, God, for my husband and my granddaughter and each and every last one of you. Amen. And I'm just going to ask you all just to give me just a few minutes of your time. Amen. My topic, my, my scripture today is going to come out of Revelation, which is a hard book, which is a hard book, but I say, God, I'm going to glorify you. Amen. So I uh, hope. Oh, uh, I'll be reading from Revelation chapter 21, verse 3 through 5. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God dwelling, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain for the old for the old order of things has passed away. Amen. He, he who was seated on the throne said, I am making everything new. Yes. Thank you, God. He who was seated on the throne said, Amen. I am making yes. everything new. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Then he said, write this down, for these words are trustworthy and true. Amen. So that's saying what God says is the truth. It ain't no, it's the truth. Amen. Over in Isaiah 25 and 8 says, He will swallow up death forever. The sovereign Lord will wipe away the tears from all your faces. He will remove his people's disgrace from all the work. I mean, from all the earth. And the Lord has spoken. Amen. And the Lord has spoken. Amen. So, in, so my topic is new. Amen. Amen. Just like that. New. When I looked up the word new, I was like, okay, God, so what does the word new mean? Mm -hmm. It says, not existing before, made, introduced, or discovered recently, or now from the, I mean, now for the first time, not previously used or owned. Amen. Okay, like the new floor, mm -hmm. the new lights. Amen. It gave us a new look. Yeah. But the one that I liked was the, 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 what I like was it was already existing but seen. Mm. So the building here was already existing mm -hmm. and it was seen. Experienced or acquired recently or now for the first time. Mm -hmm. And as we know that Riley's being rededicated, she's being dedicated, so she's been seen before. But this is a new day. Amen. Okay, this is a new day. Amen. So I was like, God, okay, God, so what are you saying? Okay, God, so what are you saying? And this is okay, everything that I love. Last night at 12 o'clock, I hadn't written nothing down because I was sleeping. I, I didn't know how God was going to move or what God was going 
gonna do. But I was telling my husband and my great girl that I had a 530 prayer call every morning. And and so I fell asleep from 530 from like 630 until about 8 o'clock when I woke up. And you know how you get that good sleep when you're slobbering? And I know I had slobber, so that was that good sleep. That was that good sleep. <laughs> okay, God. But in that time was when God had me in that position and I was asleep so he could speak to me and begin to tell me what he wanted me to say. So I got up and I was like, okay, God. So I thank God first off for the internet. The word new is mentioned 150 times in the Bible. Okay? The word new. Yeah. The word newly, which is still the word new, is mentioned two times in the Bible. Mm -hmm. The word newness is mentioned two times in the Bible. The word newborn is mentioned one time. And as I thought about it, I was like, okay, God, make that make sense. Okay, God, that makes sense to me now because we're only born physically one time. Mm -hmm. We're not born, but the time we're born one time. So, okay, God, so... I said, God, so what are you saying to me, God? So, God, tell me, God, what do you want me to say this morning? God took me over to Zachariah, the little man who was short. And, you know, and so, and if you want to read about Zacharias, it's over in Luke of chapter 19. Zacharias was known as a corrupt tax collector who collected more than he should have collected, like Satan does. See, when we're living in the world of sin, Satan going to take, and he's going to take, and he's going to take. He's going to take your life. He's going to take your money. He's going to take your family. But see, and that's who Zacharias was, okay? Because, see, he hadn't had an encounter with God yet, but I say, thank you, God. Yes. And see, so, and because of this, because he had a negative, a bad reputation, in the community, and as, and so as Jesus was passing through the city of Jericho, Zechariah became very excited to see him. However, since he was so short, he couldn't see Jesus. All he did was heard about Jesus. Okay. And see, look, and you know, if, if you stop and think when God calls you, and when God knows he's got some work for you to do, you're going to hear about Jesus. And then now again, you're going to come by the church house and see what's going on. Or you're going to say, well, Lord, thank you. Or when, or, or, or even whatever, all, all hell breaks. You should be like, Lord, have mercy. See, so you done heard about Jesus because you know when to call on God when those times are hard. Amen. You know that God is going to be your ever-present help yes. when times yes. are hard. And see, Amen. and see, and when things are going on in your life, you're going to be like, Zacharias, okay, so I'm sitting here and I can't see the man, yeah. I, but I know he's somewhere, so I always hear Mama say, Lord, have mercy, or Jesus, fix it, as so many people like to say, fix it, Jesus, mm -hmm. or come through, Jesus, see, yeah. but we have to remember that Zacharias was so short, and he couldn't see anybody, because he was so short, and then he was, he had become who people said he was, mm -hmm. people said he was a liar, a thief, and he was greedy. Mm. Okay? And people have called us things that were necessarily not. People have called us things out of our name, and we've been okay with it. People have said things about us, and we got to be all right to know, no, that's not who I am. I am a child of God. And see, mm. and even though Zacharias had, I mean, see, so even though Zacharias hadn't fully accepted who Jesus was, but guess what? He heard about a man. And now you gotta do some time and just hear about somebody. Like people that's um, playing the scratch up in the lottery. Oh, the lottery up to five point eight three you know. Everybody going buy them tickets, right? Everybody going buy tickets because they heard about something. Yeah. But see, when something's been heard about and it's good, you better go find out about it and see what it is. Yeah. Because that's what we do. So, as Zacharias climbed the tree, right, so he can get a, a better view of Jesus. And Jesus said, come here. He called him. Like Jesus that has called each and every last one of us. He said, come here. And the people said, don't talk to him. Over in, excuse me. Okay, yeah, so, and over, I got my notes, y'all, promise you. And so over in Luke 18 11 says, the Pharisee stood by himself and prayed, God, I thank you that I'm not like other people, robbers, evildoers, and adulterers, even like that tax collector. See, but see, people will look at you and say, well, mm, she get high, Lord, she sleep with her husband. You know, see, people going to look at you, and guess what I call them people? Family. Mm -hmm. Okay? <laughs> I call them friends. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Family in the world, not godly family, okay? But see, we have to be very mindful that people will look at us. But the one thing that I like about Zacharias, he was okay with being short. He was okay with being looked at funny. He was okay with being 
been a man of the world. But see, but that wasn't what God had called him to be. See, because when we let people get inside of our ears and our head, we be all right with the stuff that they say. And we gotta get from what they say to what God says. See, because see, I ask God, okay, God, so what are you saying, God? Tell me, God, what is it that you want me to say, God? Because see, I can relate to Zacharias in a whole lot of ways, right? And see, and it was see, and, and Zacharias had walked into his calling of, I'm a greedy little robber, thief, snatcher. See, but because what the Bible didn't say was that he was nosy. Amen. Because see, if he wasn't nosy, he would never climb that tree Amen. to see what was going on. Amen. The Bible didn't tell us that he wanted to be and see what they was doing. And see, anytime something good going on, everybody gonna, everybody gonna go to it and see what's going on. And guess what? It feeds our attention. But see, we got to decide, you know what? I'm in a new season doing a new thing. But see, it was only when Zachariah spent time with God, it was only when Zachariah said, I can't do this no more, okay? Okay, God, I don't make a mess. God, I don't lie. God, I don't stole. God, I don't use. God, I don't prostitute. God, I all those things and then some more. But see, and God, I mean, he went to God. Excuse me, no. Jesus chose him. Man said don't, but Jesus chose him. And see, that's where we get it twisted. We think I can do this, I'm this, I'm that, I'm this. But it's because of the God that's in us. That's, and we have to remember, God has got to get the glory. So it don't matter what you done. It don't matter I had my first child at 15. It don't matter. It don't matter I had two children at a wedding lock. It don't matter. God chose me. Amen. And when God chooses you, everything else is secondary. Amen. Everybody Amen. else don't even matter. Amen. See, but the problem, the problem that Zachariah had before he had an encounter with God, he was consumed by pleasing people and he didn't care what you thought about it. He didn't care what you said about it. He didn't care. All he wanted was what he wanted. And when you get what you want all the time, everything good to you. And it always good for you. Everything good to you. It ain't good for you. So you got to decide, okay, do I want to, this good thing over here, mm -hmm. or do I want to be good in God's glory? Yeah. Do I want, see, and that's when you know I got a, it's a new day for a new thing. Yeah. We can't keep going back doing the same thing over and over. Somebody got to decide, let me get off of this merry-go-round. This ride right here, I'm tired of it. Uh -huh. I'm tired of not having. I'm tired of lacking. I'm tired of being broke. And people, and you know what? And I'm, oh, thank you, Holy Ghost. People say, I'm having it hard. Uh -huh. But you say, God, I thank you. Uh -huh. People say, this has been a hard week for me. But I say, God, I thank you for my affliction. People say, I'm so tired, I, I ain't even had no rest. Me yesterday, but I, I said, God, forgive me for complaining. And see, we get so comfortable, and the people around me were complaining that I feel discharged. They were talking about him like he was a dog, because see, in their eyesight, he was a dog. He wasn't good enough. Come on here now. He didn't fit. Uh -huh. And there he was shining. He didn't fit. And because he didn't fit, he was an outcast. Mm -hmm. But God said, no, I choose you. I choose you. And when God chooses you, ain't a devil in hell that can stop the work God has for you. Mm -hmm. It ain't a devil in hell that can tell you what you can't do. So what? I went to jail like 50 times. I had to do more. Thank you, Jesus. But you know, I'm saying, so what? I went to jail. So what? I was on drugs, but I had to go back to Jesus. But I'm just saying, though, I'm saying the same. It doesn't matter what you've been through. It don't matter what's back there. It's what's there. And that's where I'm going. I decided there's some new day in my life. And I will not look at that anymore. Huh? Yes. I don't want God to tell you the same thing. He told God to like, you turn away from me. See, I need God to say, Shale, come on, Shale. Yes. yes, this road is a challenge. Yes. But God. But God. But God. Come on here. But God. But God. But God. But God. 
And see, and when you get to that place of but God, yeah, but God. Thank God. Woo, Jesus, thank but God. God. When you get to that place of but God, uh -huh. you gotta keep going when people say you can't. You gotta keep going when you don't feel like it. You gotta keep pressing when the pressing is hurt. You gotta keep pushing when the pushing don't feel good. You gotta say, God, here I am, broken, empty, naked, ugly, broken, everything. Yes. Yes. To win. Amen. Amen. 